Hello, I'm Clint Boone from a band called Inspiral Carpets and I'm a radio presenter for XFM, uh, which is where I am today. Uh, I do the drive time show currently. And I'm a Mancunian, proud Mancunian, born and bred in Oldham actually, so just uh, seven miles northeast of the city, a little town called Oldham. Um, and I spent most of my working life in the city, either doing gigs within the band, DJing as a DJ in the clubs, uh, and then presenting for the radio station as well. I'm a massive fan of the city. I've had a few opportunities throughout my life to move to other parts of the country or the world, um, and I've never really fancied it. I've always been happy to stay in, in this beautiful city of ours. And in terms of some of my favourite parts of the city, which I want to chat about today, I'll start with a place called Castlefield, which for any tourist who's not familiar with the city, it's probably the best place to start because where the city started when the Romans settled here uh, back in the the late 1960s. <laughs> now the Romans actually set up camp here a long time ago and um, as often was the case when, when with Roman settlements they picked a part where there was a river uh, that was connected to um, a good thoroughfare through the country or whatever and Castlefield is that spot in town you've got the, the, the water, um, the river, you've got rivers there, you've got the canal that's built in the Victorian days, you've got these amazing railway systems that go through there um, and it is the very it's the very centre of where Manchester started. There's still actually some Roman fort remains that were excavated a few decades ago. So it's a really interesting place to, to hang out, not just for the history of it, but also for the, the bars and the restaurants that are down there, places like Barca and Duke's 92. Um, and then there's some amazing museums around there as well. The, the Museum of Science and Industry is just an incredible place. And it's, it, it's actually included in the museum. It's the first ever passenger railway station in the world. It's just an incredible thing when you're there. It's, it's where railway, you know, railway culture as we knew it, as we know it, started in that 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 yard basically. And uh, that's all in Castlefield. It's a great place to go visit, you know, for the history, as I said, the city, but also for the uh, the culture that's there now. The modern contemporary lifestyle of Manchester is represented uh, right down there in Castlefield. Um, from there, I would say Oldham Street's one of my personal favourite places in the in the city, and it's also a great example of modern day Mancunian spirit. The, the, the shops that are down there, record shops, clothes shops, tattoo parlours. You know, it's just, it's where all the young people gravitate to in the city, daytime and night, night time as well. It's a great nightlife down there. Um, Oldham Street is where you find the famous Aflex Palace, which back in the Victorian days was, I think, one of the first department stores in the world. I think it was called Affleck and Browns back then. So recently it became Aflex Palace, or 20 years ago, uh, became Affleck's Palace. It's full of units of um, small businesses, independent little businesses, making everything from woolly arts and selling all sorts of stuff. I, mean, I, I still can't visit Manchester without going in Affleck's Palace and gravitate to it every time I go down there. Uh, so do check out Oldham Street. Um, and it, it, I always think that is the, it's the centre of Manchester for me. In my, in my mind, the, the memories I've got of it over the decades, the, particularly when my band started out, and uh, we'd hang out on Oldham Street on Saturday mornings and you'd see all the other band members. You'd see people like Happy Mondays and Stone Roses in New Order just casually shopping there and hanging out there. So Oldham Street is definitely uh, on my top five favourite parts of Manchester. Um, I'd say th thirdly, I'd, again on the music trip, you should definitely visit Salford Lads Club. It's an old um, lads club, funnily enough, in Salford. You won't believe it, would you? Uh, but it's famous because uh, the Smiths, one of our most famous Manchester bands, did a photo shoot outside Salford Lads Club back in the 80s. And it's still probably the most iconic music-related photograph um, from from the city. Um, and the fact that the, the front of the building is still exactly the same as it was back in the photograph in the, in the 80s um, just makes it top of the list for people visiting Manchester for, for our music heritage. Uh, Salford Lads Club. If you catch it on a good day, you can actually go inside it and visit the old, um, like the old boxing rings that the, the guys used to go in there and box and do all sorts of activities. So it was built right in um, the heart of working class Salford uh, and it still functions the same. It's still a community centre for a lot of the young people in the area. So Salford Lads Club, definitely get down there, get your camera out and recreate that famous Smiths picture. Fourth on my list, I'd say if you're a football fan, which I'm not, I don't follow football, but it still amazes me that probably three or four hundred yards from where I'm sitting in that direction is um, Manchester United's football ground Old Trafford 
And I say I'm talking about this as somebody who's not, I'm not from a football background whatsoever, but it's it's almost like that. It's, it's like being near a pyramid, isn't it? It's like to a lot of people around the world, it's one of the wonders of the world. We've got that and we've got the amazing city ground as well. I've got to throw that in to remain neutral and on the fence. We have got two of the most famous um, football clubs in the world in this city. And both stadiums are uh, world class, as you probably know, against football. And I drive past the United ground every day on the way into work, and it's just every day, just hundreds of tourists from every corner of the globe outside, like that, you know, selfie, United. Well, I'm sure cities are the same, but I don't drive past uh, that on the way to work. Uh, but yeah, we've got this, these amazing, iconic football grounds. And then in the suburbs, we've got some other great teams that, you know, are very popular in, in Britain, um, which are all worth a visit. So if you're in the world of football, you could probably spend the day visiting the stadiums and uh, checking them out, getting them selfies. Uh, yeah, fine, lads. So the, the other, my personal address, my my personal favourite address in Manchester um, is a nightclub that I've DJed at for 14 years, every Saturday night pretty much for over 14 years. And it's a club called South Nightclub. Um, and I'd say after your day of visiting all these uh, amazing places, you're looking for somewhere to... Uh, Boogie. I'm not going to say relax, it's not a very relaxing atmosphere. Uh, but the club's South Night Club, I'm DJing there every week. Come and say hello, you'll enjoy the music, very diverse music. And there's always people from uh, around the world in there every Saturday night. Last week there was a young lad from Brazil that was in the DJ booth with me, absolutely amazed by it all. So yeah, come and see us at South Night Club. Um, and it's my favourite. I always say you can scatter my ashes in there if you want. I'll probably die in there, I'll probably just fall over one night when I'm playing New Order or something and not get up. I think, I'm, I think I've gone to sleep. I think by Monday morning they might realise that they need to get somebody to come and tidy the boon up. Um, yeah, scatter me ashes in there if you want. Um, and that's it, Manchester, enjoy it and uh, welcome to it.